Hi everyone, it's Steve from Smart PE, and today I'm going to be looking at a smarter way to interpret a heart rate graph from a fartlek training session. So let me break down the graph for you very quickly. On the y-axis, the one that goes from top to bottom, on the left that is the heart rate, and that's measured in beats per minute. On the x-axis, which goes from left to right along the bottom, that is time. Now it's important to know that fartlek training is actually continuous, i.e. there is no complete stopping during the exercise. However, the training does involve changes in pace, so it can involve periods of sprinting, followed by jogging or walking. The training can also involve using different terrains, such as going uphill or downhill, or running on road and then onto grass. OK, let's look at trying to interpret what is happening in the graph. So I know that at the beginning of the training session, the heart rate is at rest, and that's roughly about 65 beats per minute. The heart rate then slightly increases. And this is known as the anticipatory rise, which happens just before the exercise is about to begin. So imagine you know your PE teacher or your sports coach is about to take you for a really physically demanding fitness training session. Just before you begin, you might feel a mixture of emotions from excitement through to worry. When this happens, your body will release a hormone called adrenaline. This then causes the anticipatory rise. This is your body's way of making sure that more blood is pumped around your body in preparation for the session that is about to happen. The next thing that happens is the heart rate increases quite a lot. This shows the start of exercise. And the heart rate increases to supply the muscles that will be working with oxygen in order to then produce energy. The next part of the heart rate graph I want to look at is this increase, which takes the heart rate above 160 beats per minute. Now, although we don't know exactly what is happening in a fart training session, our job in the exam is to interpret the graph, which will mean that we have to make sense of or give an explanation of why it is happening. So, we can see the heart rate is very high. So I can interpret that this is a period of a fart session that is very intense in terms of the work demand. And because we're talking about fart session, I know that this intense work period could be from sprinting and or changing from a flat terrain to an uphill terrain. Because we've looked at parts of the heart rate that go up or increase, I now want to look at this section, which shows the heart rate reducing. Again, to interpret this, I want to give meaning as to why I think this is happening. So based on my knowledge of fartlek training, this could have happened because the exercise is less intense, such as changing from a sprint uphill to maybe a downhill jog. Now in your exam, you could interpret any part of this graph, such as these sections. Just remember to state what is happening. For example, the heart rate increases, decreases, or it might stay the same. Then remember to interpret, we must give meaning as to why it is happening. So these increases or decrease that we identify could be because the intensity of the fart leg session could change because of a change in pace or a change of intensity or a change in terrain. Hope that's been helpful. You can now scan another QR code for help on how to interpret another heart rate graph.